Hiya. Hey Ernie, what's going on? Not much. Okay, so we got Ernie's Wi-Fi set up. And I think this would be a good video because we kind of did something tricky. So he's got a regular desktop here. And then we got a laptop here. Okay, the laptop is going through the Wi-Fi. So he's got Spectrum. And yeah. there's a Spectrum router down there. The Wi-Fi on the Spectrum router is turned off. They charge you five dollars a month for that. Okay, so he's got the Wi-Fi turned off. But you can see there's that white cord. That white cord goes into another router up there. That small box up there. That's a TP-Link router. And uh, it's only like a $29 router. So they already had that. We didn't go out and buy it again. So, so what we did was the cable, the cable internet comes into the bottom of the box with the coaxial cord. And then the white cord, that's the internet, is plugged into port 1. So I think what they say is when Wi-Fi is turned off, only port 1 works. That's the number 1 plug. Don't let the word port mess you up. Just a fancy name for plug. So then we plug the white cable into plug 1, port 1, and ran that up into the back of the router there. Okay? So then that yellow cable comes out the back of the router and comes around here and goes over to his desktop. Okay? It's confusing, okay. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go to the uh, router 192. Okay, here, wait, wait, Ernie. See how it popped up because we were already there. 192.168.100.1. So then just click the enter key. The username is admin and the password is admin. Yours might be admin and password. Or if you don't have your username, just call Spectrum. They'll tell you how to log in. We're logging into that router down there. We're logging into the Spectrum router down there. Okay? So that web page right there that's on the spectrum router okay. so you log in with that number the 192.168.100.1 you log into that router using that number now up there in the top corner it says uh what to say there change username right that's how you would change the password on there okay so now right there it says Wi-Fi is off. That's how we know Wi-Fi is off. Now you can't turn it on from here. They have to turn it on at the Spectrum office. Okay. So that's all we need from here. You know, we have Wi-Fi turned off here on the. We have Wi-Fi turned off here on the Spectrum router down there. Okay. So now. Just X out of that one. No, no, the X over here. Up, up, up. Just X out of it over here, Ernie. Oh, this one. Yeah. Okay, now, now we go to the web page on that router over there. Okay, so now we're going to the web page on the other router, the TP link, 192. Dot one six eight dot zero dot one and press enter. So there's the web page. There's the web page on that router. Okay. Okay, now password was admin and admin. Your router may be different, but that's like a generic password and user username. Try admin, admin, and admin password.
Okay, so there's the uh, the web page for the other router. Then click on basic. Yeah. And then click on wireless over on the left. And you can see there's the default settings there. You don't have to change nothing. It says TP link. And the password, TP link, password. Okay. And then we come over here to the we come over here to the laptop. Go over to wireless over here, wherever it is. Down there somewhere. The wireless is the one that looks like a bunch of signals going through the air here. And you get this list. These are the available networks in the wireless. And theirs is the top one. So we just clicked on there. And it gave us a connect button first time. So you click the connect button, type in the password, and you're good to go. Okay? And then and then it was it was it, it was the same thing. If you're using a tablet and then if you're using a tablet, it's the same thing. Just go to your settings. Here it says settings. Top one is Wi-Fi. Make sure Wi-Fi is on. There's the network. And then you just type in your... First time you go to it, it'll give you a pop-up for a password. And click the connect. Okay. So, uh, I have another video that shows how to set up that router there. Okay. So we kind of skimmed over that part but there's really not much to it so it's only like five minutes worth of stuff so. but those are the generic settings there okay see ya bye thanks Ernie see ya you're welcome bye